Now in our tenth problem, we are given with the equation m times tan th theta minus 30 degrees is equal to n times tan of theta plus 120 degrees and we have to find the value of cos 2 theta. So we can write m upon n as tan of theta plus 120 degrees upon tan of theta minus 30 degrees. Now most of the students will go with, they will open the brackets or they will convert that tan into sin or cos or they will do different things. But the most important approach used in this question is the approach of componendo dividendo, which would very much ease out the problem. Componendo dividendo says if m upon n is equal to m dash upon n dash, then m plus n upon m minus n is equal to m dash plus n dash upon m dash minus n dash. So applying componendo dividendo on this equation, we get m plus n upon m minus n equals tan of theta plus 120 degrees plus tan of theta minus 30 degrees upon tan of theta plus 120 degrees minus 10 of theta minus 30 degrees. Now we can convert this tan into simple cos and sin. This becomes sin of theta plus 120 upon cos theta plus 120 plus sin of theta minus 30 upon cos of theta minus 30, similarly the denominator. Now if we take the LCM, this becomes sin, if we consider this angle as A and this angle as B, then we can clearly see the, if we take the LCM, the formula becomes sin A cos B plus cos B sin A. And we know that sin A cos B plus cos A sin B is equal to sin of A plus B. So we can directly write M plus N upon M minus N as sin A cos B plus cos A sin B as sin of A plus B. So this becomes sin of 2 theta plus 90 degrees. divide by these cos theta plus 120 theta minus 30 and similarly in the denominator we can clearly see the formula will change as sin a cos b minus cos a sin b. So this becomes sin of a minus b. So sin of a minus b becomes 120 plus 30 is sin of 150 degrees and similarly these two cos terms will come again. We can just cancel out these four terms. Sin of 90 plus theta is cos 2 theta and this sin of 150, this becomes sin of pi minus 30 and sin of pi minus theta is sin theta. So we can write this as sin 30. The two important identities used are sin of pi by 2 plus theta is sin is cos theta and sin of pi minus theta is sin theta. So m plus n upon m minus n becomes equal to cos 2 theta upon sin 30 which is equal to half. So the value of cos 2 theta becomes m plus n upon 2 times m minus n and this was the value which we wanted to find out. So in this question we have used 3 important relations, one is the component of dividendo, second is sin of pi by 2 plus theta is cos theta and third one is sin of pi minus theta is sin theta.
and the component of dividend is the most important relation which would be very useful in the forthcoming chapters.